Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC 146 alongside Jamie Varner, who just finished Edson Barbosa tonight in the very first round. And you're laughing. I mean, does this seem like a dream right now? I can't believe it. It's so weird to, to finish a guy. I thought maybe I would get lucky and choke him, but this kind of reminds me of the Razor Rob fight all again. I go against a striker who's supposed to knock me out, then I end up knocking them out. It's it's crazy. It's surreal. Uh, I'm just glad to be here. When you you know when you said yes to this opportunity, a short notice fight. A lot of people didn't want to fight Edson Barbosa. Did you even envision? Did you even allow your, yourself to envision finishing this guy? No, no, that wasn't. I saw me maybe catching him in a choke or something, but you know what? It was it was a win-win situation. I lose to Edson Barbosa. I'm supposed to lose to Edson Barbosa. I beat Edson Barbosa. That catapults me arguably into the top five, top ten. So you know it was a win-win. And um, he's a tough guy. No one else want to fight him. Shit, I'll step up. You know, we were talking earlier about you hitting rock bottom and uh, the sort of road that you had to take to get to this point. What was that moment for you when you officially did hit rock bottom? Um, you know what? It was probably, it, it's really lonely down there. It's real lonely down at the bottom. And, but you know what? It sparked the fire. It was, it was fight or flight. I could have just stayed down there and just went back to being just a normal, everyday person. But I was destined to do something great. And I feel like I was put on this planet to fight and what and I was given this gift like who would I be not to share it with the world and you know my corner men my trainers switching up some stuff going to the lab with coach John Crouch and Ben Henderson all those guys and also being with Trevor Lally this guy that built me from the ground up they believed in me and they inspired me and you know what they told me what to do they pointed me in the right direction and I just went you know instead of taking in all the emotions and trying to do things on my own I just listened I was a student for the first time in a long time and it felt great I don't know what it is, but the story of the WEC lightweights in the UFC is a fascinating one. Anthony Pettis, Benson Henderson, your friend, now the champion. Uh, you've got Donald Cerrone. I mean, the list goes on and on. Was it tough for you to see those guys doing so well in the UFC? You were the former champion for so long, seeing them succeed, and you were on the outside looking in. You know what? It was bittersweet, but it was great because, you know, when I was a champ for two years, Everybody said, oh, you, got, you wouldn't be able to hang with those guys in the UFC. Well, you know what? I would. I, I can. I just, I just proved it. You know, um, Edson would have won this fight. He probably would have been a top contender, you know? So I, I feel good with where I'm at, and I'm proud of those guys. You know, I may not like one of them, but I'm proud of what they've done. They've, made, they've only made me and the organization look good. And you know what? Long live the WEC. Hey man, okay, final thing. I hate to sort of rain on the parade here, but it just seems, and you know, people talking about it already, you just look good. Your old friend Donald Cerrone just looked good. Third time? You know what? Maybe in the future. Maybe we can uh, we can get that fight after coaching the Ultimate Fighter. But not now. Not now. All right, Jamie. Well, welcome back and congratulations on a huge win.